Hi, Billy. Hi, Mimi. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. My name is Kat, and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. I've been coming on camera just looking any type of way. We're basically family now. We're gonna end up working a three day international trip to London. I was this close to getting Auckland yesterday. Somebody was trying to trade their Auckland yesterday. They said either London or Asia. And I had this one and I was like, hey, you want this one? But they ended up trading with somebody else. Probably got something uh, a little bit better. But anyways, we're gonna be going back to London. But before that, I actually forgot that I needed to go to the pharmacy to pick up my Humera a couple days ago. It's almost 8.30 right now. And we need to get out of here at 12 because also my crew badge is about to expire. But also I placed an order at Salad & Go. I did a salad as well as a wrap. I've never had their wrap before but I have been trying to do like more of an anti-inflammatory diet I've been trying to switch and, and focus a lot more on just whole foods I've also been tracking my food anyways I'd like to get that out of the way first so that way whenever we come back I can just like start packing up my stuff start, start getting all this together Oh my goodness, you guys, that took so incredibly long. I got stuck in like a school zone area and it was just like dead stop. I was only a mile and a half away from the salad and go, but I was just sitting there for forever. So now we're pretty tight on time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, give, a, give myself the old stabby stabby with my Humera pen. And then we need to immediately start like going and doing my hair and makeup and getting packed. All right, so here's what we're working with. So I actually washed my hair last night with my Way Thick Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. And y'all, I've never smelled shampoo or conditioner that smells this good. It's actually insane. And then I keep the medium hair ones in my spare bathroom that my in-laws got to use. And they are also obsessed. They're just ridiculous. Like these would make the best holiday gifts. Like everybody just loves how good they smell. And I usually like to put this stuff in it the night before. Well, I guess not, not this one. I usually like to put these two, which is the leave-in conditioner as well as the hair oil after I wash it, but I completely forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in right now. And then I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of their volume spray to my roots. It's actually raining outside and it's really humid and my hair is just she doesn't love that oh i love their stuff it smells so good and i also want to thank way for sponsoring today's video they have completely changed my hair and just made it so much healthier i like to just keep this stuff up up in my roots some other fabulous gift ideas would be some of their best sellers, which include this detox shampoo. And this is great for cleansing product buildup and hard water deposits. Their leave-in conditioner, which you guys, I'm clearly obsessed with this stuff. Like I can't get enough. I actually already have a brand new bottle in my bathroom cabinet ready to go because I do not want to end up without this. And their leave-in conditioner is great for detangling, hydrating, and it fights frizz with any hair type. And this hair oil, which I have raved and raved and raved about this in previous videos. This stuff is so good. It's like magic in a bottle. It's great for um, packing your hair with nutrients. It absorbs quickly. It keeps your color from fading and it revives damaged hair very, very easily, which I noticed with my curl pattern, like this stuff is so good. They also have fragrances as well on their best selling list that would also make great gifts. All right, and there she is. My hair is looking so good. But if you guys wanna get on your way to healthier and happier hair, right now you are in luck because if you go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Kat Nesbitt, you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. And again, that is T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Kat Nesbitt. And I will have that also linked down below in the description box. Once again, thank you to Way for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go run and grab our wrap and and like try to scarf it down then we have to pack our bags and get out of here Oh, 
Hello, you guys. So we actually got one of the shower rooms again. So this room is just a wee bit bigger, definitely not big, but a little bit bigger. And then also the shower is nice because the bathtubs can be really slippery. But for once, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually taking my makeup off to go to sleep instead of um, either taking it off or layering or layering um, more on. My ears are a little bit popped, so I can't tell if I'm like talking too loud. This one actually lands as early as you are allowed to land because Heathrow doesn't even accept planes. Like you cannot even land on the runway until after 6 a.m. So we like circled for a minute and then landed. And normally I work like the, the latest one or the second to latest one. Those are my favorites because I don't like to get in too early. Otherwise I just sit in rush hour. I think you also get back on your schedule closer to normal because when you get in later you can like have dinner and then go to bed and you're basically like back on time but the nice thing about this one is that you have lots of time the layover is a bit longer like it's a little over 24 where some of the ones I've been doing have been like 19 to 21 hours but we're gonna have like a super early sign in tomorrow because sign in is gonna be at 5 50 in the morning which means we're gonna have to wake up probably at like 420 ish <laughs> haven't haven't done one of those in a while but regardless when i do like these internationals and stuff your sleep is a little funky anyways like you you don't really stay asleep at least i don't i'm usually like up and down throughout the night into the morning it's kind of weird so i'm pretty much all done now i didn't bring my face wash or anything because the liquids are so strict here that you just get a little baggy and i was in such a hurry so my baggie's a little bit emptier than normal because normally like my baggie is full so I'm kind of scared, but I was just thinking like maybe like makeup or something. I just like, I have stuff and I, I just didn't put it in the bag. So I didn't want to pack more than normal. I don't know. I don't know what I'm forgetting, but I guess we'll figure it out later. The way they do the pillows is so funny. I don't know. I feel like a standard thing would have them like both kind of meet in the middle or am I wrong? What do y'all think? Would y'all have the pillows meet in the middle or would you just leave them like far, far apart? I don't know. But anyways, also, do you guys see this? So this is where I like shot up with the Humera and it did this to me last time, but I thought I got a mosquito bite. I did not put like two and two together. And this is like, it's like kind of warm to the touch and it's like hard and it itches like crazy. And I was kind of bugging. I was like, oh my God, am I having an allergic reaction? So then after we landed, I Googled it and I went to like the Humera website and it said these are common side effects, but I don't know, I feel like it's still a little weird. My doctor's office is closed, but I'm definitely gonna be messaging them because like, that's kind of crazy or not. Because no joke, I'll go full hypochondriac on y'all. Like I will, I will suddenly be like, I don't think I can breathe. And then I'll start being like, <sighs> and I'll, even though I have sinuses all the time, but I'll just be like, <sighs> no, I can't breathe. And then I'll start, I'll start growing a little, little crazy. It's who I am. It's who I am as a person. Like I, I'll take it and run with it. So I'm trying just to be like, listen, girl, you went on the Humera website and it said that's a common side effect. So I'm trying to be like, Lay, lay off like back up a little bit but you know <laughs> I could be dying right now this could be my last slumber and and this is my last video footage how unfortunate if this was the last oh at least make a witty joke before I cross but anyways okay nighty night <laughs>
There we go. I was looking at the Christmas markets and I was so hoping that they would be open this week so I could take you guys because I love Christmas markets. I like them in London. I like them. I did um, Paris last year. Gorgeous. So nice. And so I wanted to take you guys, but they don't open until next weekend. But also in the same breath, that's still really exciting. So next weekend, if I end up picking a trip up here or somewhere else, we can do our first Christmas market. I'm so excited excited. Another thing that I want to do is it? No, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Besides just Marks and Spencer, another thing that I wanted to do is I was influenced. Like TikTok made me do it. TikTok is going to make me do it. I was watching, I believe her name is Danielle. They call her like the caviar queen. Her videos are so soothing to me. I just really like her voice and her and her aesthetic. It's different than mine, but I just, I don't know. I like it. But anyways, she likes to go to this place called Joe and Juice or Joe joe and the juice i think it's joe and the juice she likes to go there and she likes to get a tuna cotto sandwich and it looks so good it has like a really thin slice of bread and then they put like tuna i think tomato um avocado she does hers with extra tuna and we're gonna follow suit and do the same thing the only difference that i'm gonna do instead of her is i saw that they have a gluten-free bread so anyways i'm gonna use my little curl wrap to do my hair and finish doing my makeup and then i guess we will We'll head out of here. All right, so here is our outfit. So I'm just wearing H&M sweatpants, this Skims bodysuit. These are so comfortable. I am just like, oh, I'm living. And then I have my Doc Martens and also like my Amazon uh, tall socks. And then I just have a little zipper jacket. I don't know where this came from. Maybe Walmart or H&M, I'm not, I'm not really sure. And then my Primark jacket and my little Amazon insulated bag. So that is our full fit. Now let's finally head out. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. it is chilly i'm in the kensington gardens right now so i was actually gonna pick up my food at joe and the juice and then come here and eat but you guys it's so cold i definitely underestimated already how cold it is so the place was like super cute the atmosphere was really cute so i decided just to like stay there and eat and i dare say that was the best tuna sandwich i've ever had but the bread i feel like it's between the pesto and the bread that really makes a sandwich because they put like a vegan pesto on it and it is just I'm gonna think about that sandwich for a minute. I can already tell you right now, it's gonna be one of those things that it's like, you're gonna crave it and you're gonna wish it was like right next to you. And I don't think there's one anywhere close to me. I'm already out of breath because first off, out of shape. But secondly, it's cold. Um, I wanna try to walk around for at least an hour, get some steps in, get some exercise in and just soak it all up. And hopefully I don't become an ice cube by then. <laughs> All right, so we are back in the room. I'm still really chilly. It is chilly outside. Like I should have brought like a scarf and maybe a hat. I don't think it's too bad yet. I don't think I needed the full gloves and the double socks, but we're getting there, you guys. I'm, I'm not joking. We are definitely getting there. I like walked around the park for about an hour and then I decided to go run into Whole Foods. And my original plan was just to look around, see some stuff, see what they've got going on and then figure out kind of like if I wanted to do that for dinner because they have like the hot food bars and stuff. So I was gonna do that and then when I left, it was only 4.30. 4.30 and it was dark outside. It was as if the sun was like already almost set and I was so confused. I know, I know it's getting dark over in the States. I know that, but 4.30? 
weird. So I ended up going over to Marks and Spencer. I will share with you guys what I got. I didn't get as much as I thought I would get. And then I was going to come back to the hotel and, you know, get a little work done. I have some editing and stuff for another video I'm going to get up for you guys. So I was like, oh, I'll do that. And then I'll go run back out and then go pick up Whole Foods and do some grocery shopping over there. But then once I left Marks and Spencer, it was like dark, dark. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, you know, as a solo traveler, I, I try my best. It doesn't always work, but I try my best when like I am alone, not really to be like out too much of dark, but I also know myself and I know if I came back here and got all warm and cozy uh, in this bed and started doing work, I would never leave again. I would never leave. So I did um, end up picking a big old bag up at Whole Foods and then I have Oh, this sounds heavy. And then I have some, some groceries in here. What is so heavy in this? I'm kind of confused. Okay, so the first thing I got, which I'm gonna have right now, is a Diet Pink Lemonade. So I guess this is part of like their holiday collection. And it says, sparkling drink made with real raspberry and lemon juice. So I'm gonna have this with my dinner, which I got at Whole Foods. I also picked up this Count on Us. I've had this one before and I really enjoyed it. So this one for the entire pack is only um, 316 calories and I like that I can like pop it in the flight attendant oven so it's just like chicken with gravy carrots peas and mashed potatoes so that'll be a meal tomorrow I also picked up two yogurts so I picked up this one there is 25 grams of protein in this and this flavor is vanilla but also I picked up this one and this is like skier Scott's here. Somebody's told me how to pronounce this before because this one I have gotten before and it's like an Icelandic kind of yogurt. This one is strawberry, fat free and high protein. And for me personally, I love to end a meal with something sweet. I don't have any dark chocolate at the house. That's, that's a go-to of mine as well. So that's where the yogurt's been coming in is when I really need like that sweet thing and I have like a sweet tooth, then I just have some yogurt. I also picked up this bread, which I'm excited to try. I'm hoping that this is very similar. It, I don't think it is because it has like a lot of seeds and stuff, but I'm hoping this is similar to the bread that I just had at Joe and the Juice because you guys, I will go feral, unhinged for that sandwich. I, I can't. I can't just explain to you guys like how that sandwich made me feel. It was so delightful. Like it was heavenly. It was like, I, I would say it was like top five sandwiches I've ever had in, in my humble opinion. And I just, I personally loved it, but um, I'm hoping this is kind of like that. And this is, this is gluten free. I picked up this at Whole Foods, which is um, this ready to eat chicken salad. It looks really good. So I kind of figure I'll have um, a little sandwich for another meal and then you guys my dinner like dumped out I swear I packed this really aesthetic and it's it's not looking as aesthetic anymore I'm gonna <laughs> so here's my dinner just so you guys can get a better look so here's the chicken potatoes the pickled cabbage and then the Brussels sprouts she's still seeing better days but you get the vibes now I'm hoping this um, video is gonna go up after my sister's birthday because I saw these and I immediately thought of her and I was like oh this is such a cute little birthday gift if not happy birthday <laughs> so I picked her up this English tea shop organic advent tea calendar. She loves tea and you guys look how pretty this is. And then to go along with her, her advent calendar tea, I also picked her up this and it, it's already wrapped. Like I, I don't even have to do anything. I just have to put it in a bag. And these are Christmas spiced shortbreads and they were baked in Scotland. Okay, so that is everything I got. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this into the refrigerator. And also you guys, I don't wanna get ahead of myself but I feel like the swelling and the inflammation has already gone down a ton it's still there a little bit and it's still a little bit sore but I feel like already it's just been five days I've been eating like this and really trying to cut out processed foods any kinds of like extra sugars and stuff trying to go more gluten-free but already look at that I'm just like focusing on just like whole foods and lean meats and it's it's really I don't know I feel like it's working look who it is I had to I had to call my girl because I miss her. She's not here. Good morning, you guys. I am so tired. I could not fall asleep last night. I don't think I fell asleep until like after midnight. I talked to Allie on the phone for like an hour and a half. Like we were just catching up on everything. I haven't talked to her for like that long of a time in forever. Oh, I totally forgot about my moisturizer. Uh, okay, we're just gonna... <laughs> 
<laughs> Usually her and I can't, can't do phone calls that long because we're both so busy. We were actually, <laughs> I'll, I'll get you in the mix. We were actually talking about maybe trying to meet up next weekend and go somewhere together. I was like, girl, we should do like a Christmas market somewhere that would be so much fun. We kind of have to wait and see as it gets a little bit closer what, what schedules are gonna end up looking like. Our trip last time together, <sighs> you guys, I don't know, did y'all, did y'all see this? Did y'all see this? Because diabolical, like I, I had to do some soul searching, like some healing after that because <gasps> like the number of things that just, went wrong in that is just insane. One of you guys that even asked her, y'all were like, when are you and Kat doing London again? <laughs> On one of her Instagram Q and A's. And I was like, I'm still getting over the last one. I'm still healing. Oh, I just have a little bit left, but I have a Celsius can and I don't want to drink it yet because I'm probably going to get coffee. But for some reason, if you take um, certain drinks and like energy drinks or protein drinks or stuff, they can set off the alarms and security. So they like for you to like dump them in like clear, clear containers when you're going through security. So I'm trying to just finish her out so I can dump my Celsius in there. But anywho, I pulled up the flight already for today and we are not full. We weren't full yesterday either. It's kind of strange to have like two flights not completely full. Cause usually even when I had like one flight that's not full, it's usually like not full going over and like completely full coming back or like vice versa. So to have like both ways not completely full is kind of crazy. Next week I think that's, that's when holiday travel really begins. So I guess you gotta, you gotta just <laughs> suck it in and catch out your blessings um, while you can. Okay, you guys, so I'm almost packed up. I'm running a little bit later than I wanted to. I'm almost packed up. I did not give myself enough time. So I'm gonna uh, get all my stuff together and then I guess let's head downstairs and head to the airport. <laughs> 